Hello, YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. This is the Rubber Toe Replica's 13th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver Replica. It's breathtaking. It's beautiful. It's a bit pricey. And seeing as we have bills to cover and mouths to feed, it's not looking likely that we will be able to afford this anytime soon. In its place, though, we've gone for this, the much cheaper mini sister of the Sonic. It's cast in metal with no lights, sound effects, or paint apps. So, you know, this is gonna be a long video. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this miniature. Okay, so here we have the micro screwdriver, and the first thing that hits you about it is its weight. It's so clear that this is in no way hollow. It's a solid chunk of metal which the design of the Sonic has been carved from, and the heft of it really gives this small replica a lot of authenticity. And make no mistake, this thing is tiny. As you can see when compared to the toy, which is around the same size as the actual prop, you can tell just how minute this baby replica is. It's not without its detail, and I really think they missed a trick here by not including any paint apps on the sections which are meant to be orange and crystalline. Instead, the entire thing is silver, which I guess makes for a classy display piece, but I think some paint apps would have really made it stand out. At the top, we get the crystal emitter with that strange twisting cage section around the base. The body manages to copy across the horrible, messy metal design of the actual Sonic body, complete with the imperfections and various divots across its surface. Surface. Both activation buttons have been sculpted too, with one on the top and the other on the bottom. The middle of the Sonic has the recessed column joining the front to the back, and speaking of which, it continues on with the horrific metal sculpting with a few indents across its surface, while at the bottom, unfortunately, the Sheffield Steel logo is not present. So, for its small scale, Rubber Toe have included an amazing level of sharp detailing, but it feels kind of naked without proper paint apps applied to bring that hard work into view. Included with the Sonic is a display piece, which comes in two parts. Firstly, we have the base itself, which is oval and made from thick, sturdy metal, offering great support and even features a material covering across its base, so it won't scrape a glass display shelf or a surface. Secondly, we get the cradle, which has been 3D printed from plastic and offers hexagonal roundel-shaped sections cut into it. This slots into the base itself, and the Sonic rests in the cradle section. It's not held in there securely by any means, and the slightest bump could knock it off. It merely rests atop the cradle itself. Being an official replica, the Microsonic comes with a certificate of authenticity, with one side featuring some excellent artwork of the actual screwdriver itself, while the back reads that this is number 145 of a total 500 available. Finally, the box is a silver tin, which features the Doctor Who logo in black across its lid and nothing else around it. Opening the tin and removing this foam cover reveals sections for the Sonic and the two halves of its display base to be placed into securely. So overall, what do I think of this mini replica Sonic? Well, it's cool, but a little pointless. I mean, it's a nice high-end novelty gift for a fan. This isn't something I would usually pick up as a collector, but it's nice enough. It just doesn't appeal to me personally, but to others it might. It could have used some paint apps, but aside from that, it's really my only gripe. Roberto recently hinted they were thinking of making a tissue-compressed lone Cyberman, which I think would be a better fit for this idea, as it would then be an accurate prop replica, which is what I personally enjoy collecting more than novelties like this. In fact, this would be a good way for this Sonic to go, the master shoots it with his tissue compression eliminator, and it clatters to the floor looking like this. If that ever happens, my mind will be instantly changed on this item. But for now, it's neat, but not necessary. Thank you for watching my review, and who knows, maybe we will get around to reviewing the official replica one day soon. If you want to help us do that, please like this video, share it around, subscribe, and please do support us on Patreon if you can. Every little helps. Thank you so much for watching, folks, and until next time, farewell. Okay.